Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor. I'm going to tell you the story of the egg. And a lot of people say, well, what came first, the chicken or the egg? And that's the eternal quandary of life. Chicken had to lay the egg, so they couldn't been a... So there had to be some kind of creation thing. This only thing makes any sense to me, but whatever. But what I'm saying is, the story of the egg was, when I was in school, it was my sixth or fifth grade year I'm not sure which one it was but our teacher was so so precise that you had to pronounce things properly and uh, I think it's really helped me to this day I mean I'm really punctilious about I'm really very anally retentive about how I pronounce things it's important it's not important it's important and our old teacher, <laughs> she would get us to pronounce words, and she would look for someone who had some nuance or some regionalism or some accent that she could beat out of you. <laughs> and to say the word egg was considered an art. <laughs> And it could be your demise if you didn't say it properly. So most people would say egg. I got an egg. Oh no, you couldn't say egg in front of Sister Sebastian. It had to be egg, egg, egg. So we would, our whole class would be <laughs> in mortal fear of our nun <laughs> teaching us how to pronounce egg. Egg. We'd be there, and we'd have a few. You'd always have a few kids in your class. The poor, unfortunate souls <laughs> who couldn't say egg. They said egg. Oh, and she would torment them, and it, it was almost became. Sorry about that. It almost became delightful <laughs> watching these poor suckers get tormented. As long as it wasn't you, it was okay. So the torment was elsewhere. It was not focused on you. So it was, it was like blowing smokes. Like you really wanted to do good. So you didn't get in front of class and get tormented by the teacher. And she was a she was a killer man. She she mentally and physically to some extent nothing big. I mean wacky with a little ruler. Um you know do a little tap on your cheek. You know, I mean, she, she was just so damn good. I, I wish they, I wish she was here today so I could just give her a hug. She probably, she's a bag of bones back then. <laughs> I'd probably crush her. <laughs> but I learned how to pronounce egg. And I never said egg. <laughs> so I got my ass beat. <laughs> it was incredible, guys. If you could have been there, if you could have been there, it would. you would be so much the better and I would just like to get together with a whole group of our kids who were there with us and just kind of like pick their brains for what they thought and what occurred at that time and my recollection is that we were like soldiers getting ready for war she prepared us for war and it wasn't really war that we were going to go to but some did it was mainly life she taught us about life Guys, you have to be precise. You have to work on your precision. You have to work on the details. Don't just blow them off. It's very important. Important. Not important. <laughs> Screw regionalisms. Work on your English accent and speak the king's English. Have a great one. It's Dr. Joe.